Welcome to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show with Kimberly Meredith. Get ready for a live hour of powerful healing miracles. She's a world-renowned medical intuitive, trance channel, psychic surgeon, and spiritual teacher. Relax and breathe in. You are now entering the fifth dimension. When calling, please do not mention any personal medical details or conditions. Kimberly will use her medical mediumship abilities to remotely detect your medical situation. Please call in now at 818-850-7784. That's 818-850-7784. Hi, welcome to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. I'm Kimberly Meredith, your host. You are listening live from Southern California, kcaaradio.com, 1050 AM, 1023 FM and 106.5 FM. I'd like to welcome everyone listening in, and you also can listen to the replays on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, TuneIn, um, Tiki, and all that fun stuff, and you can listen live right from KCAA Radio and Facebook Live. Hi, all my Facebook Live friends. We have a special guest tonight that came in all the way from San Francisco. And his name is John Hinkle. He's going to be on the second half um, doing a scan from the Holy Spirit. And so we're welcoming this wonderful hour of power of the Holy Spirit and welcome you to the fifth dimension. So let's take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale, letting out that 3D world for a minute and just taking this next hour to have a fun miracle hour, just taking a breather. So whatever you feel like doing right now, just go ahead and do it and take a relaxing moment. Just shut out the negative and bring in the positive right now. And I'm going to start it out with that fifth dimensional prayer that people are asking me to say and give them emails back. And I don't have time to send back hundreds of people this email of this fifth dimensional prayer. But we could say it together right now if you'd like to. I am fully and freely, willingly accepting today the awakening of the fifth dimension. I know and I trust that fully being in this fifth dimension, I am witnessing more miracles today. I'm letting myself witness miracles more. I'm fully embracing my heart chakra, my heart opening. I'm leaving my mind more. I'm living more in my heart. I love having a more deeper intimacy with my God consciousness. When fully trusting God, I'm more in this fifth dimensional frequency. I can hear and feel and have a shift in everything in my life easy and abundantly. Through the divine, my gifts are awakening more fully. Today, I feel more like I'm living in a fifth dimensional frequency. I feel I can be healed faster in the fifth dimension. I feel amazing in this fifth dimension frequency. I love being in the fifth dimension. I feel peace, love, and joy in the fifth dimension. I'm more trusting. I feel that a negative third dimensional warfare can leave my own personal life. The mind chatters quickly overcome and faster leaving me when I practice this fifth dimensional practice in my meditation. My mind is automatically focused more on the present moment with no effort. My mind is simply a state of being. I automatically live more in a fifth dimension. My heart is more open when listening to others. I feel more patient, kind. I'm not judgmental. I am a child of God. I am love and I am light and I am joy. I am the light. I am a frequency of the divine God consciousness. I am, I am, Satnam. <sighs> and just relaxing in those words that were channeled by me one night. And this is called my ascension into the fifth dimension. And just try to resonate in those words um, if you can. So welcome to this hour of the Medical and Truth Miracle Show where we witness these um, things on Tuesday night. Moving on now to the next thing. Last week, um, I was supposed to give out this new um, smoothie recipe that I came up with. 
and people have been coming back saying they really enjoyed the fifth, the five D smoothie, and lots of people have been drinking it. They really love it. And um, this next weekend on August thirty first, uh, Saturday, I'm having my Angel Club. And we will be talking about the smoothie then. But I feel like giving it out right now to everybody if you'd like to take a pen and paper or you can listen to it later on. But um, these smoothies that I'm giving out are really different than most nutritional, nutritional nutritionists that give out smoothies because a lot of times people give high doses of fruit and lots of different kind of whey and different types of proteins. And I like... Um, uh, hemp, and I don't mind putting CBD even in um, smoothie shakes. So this one is called, the last one I I gave out was called the 5D smoothie, and people I know out there have been using it, and they like it, like I just said, but this one's called the Berry Peachy, the Berry Peachy Smoothie Recipe. (laughs) It's kind of funny, but I came up with that one. And so this one is, I think, kind of cool. I've been drinking, and I feel a lot of energy from it, actually. I I feel really good. It's one sliced pitted peach, one handful of berries, one handful of blackberries, one handful of strawberries. And I'm really not into strawberries too much, but this is just a very small amount of strawberries. And um, half a peeled juice lemon, three-fourths fresh ginger peeled, one cup of unsweetened almond milk or cashew milk. And one scoop of soy-free protein powder, which is optional, so no soy. One teaspoon of chia seeds. And two handful of microgreens watercress. So that's what it is. And then you blend all the ingredients together until it's smooth and you drink that. And you can have that, they're telling me. um, I'm computing. I know I can't leave dead airspace. <laughs> so that's like, you can have this one like almost every single day. The other smoothie, my 5D smoothie, you can only have three days a week because it has spinach in it. And that's, you can't have spinach every day because it can, it, it can multiply kidney stones. But this one you can actually have every day. And this is really powerful um, uh, smoothie because blackberries and, and blueberries are an antioxidant. And... Um, I don't have my bag oh, it's over there, but I was going to, on the break, I'll bring back the bag, and I want to show you this uh, protein powder that has CBD oil, CBD powder in it. It's really great that I'm going to show you. So that that is my blueberry berry peachy smoothie recipe, and I can uh, repeat that again before we end the, the show tonight. Also, just to go over um, my Angel Club, which is coming up this weekend. It's called Creating the 5D Within You. And my last Angel Club I had, we had over 75 people that came on, which was really cool. And so Creating the 5D Within You is living a deeper, more passionate, more fearless life. And it starts at 2 p.m. to 5. And you can come on to it just by doing a one-day trial, or you can join for a whole year, which is only $200 to join, which really it's $28 for each class, which is super neat. And when you join, you join through Skype, and you're joining like, and it looks like the Brady Bunch because you're joining with all kinds of people. It's a, it's a total fun club. You get to meet everybody, and you're learning about communicating your skills with your own spirit guides and your own angelic realm. And everybody gets a chance to talk. Everybody is getting a chance to have a scan and invoked with spirit. And we, we, I teach you how to clear blockages. I help you to empower your, sub, your subconscious. I help you to move forward. I help you to learn about your timelines with your different... Um, oh, we'll be right back. You're listening to KCA Radio. Thank you.
I am born a star seed, born in a third dimensional body. I am a star seed, an angelic light being. I am here on this earth plane. I was sent here to complete a mission. My purpose is to help humanity in some way. I am a star seed to assist the earth and humanity with the ascension process. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. Welcome to the Angel Awakening CD. I have channeled this album as a gift to you from the angels to help you connect to your gifts and to awaken you to the frequency of the highest dimensions of the Holy Spirit. I have channeled these sacred healings, chants, mantras, meditations, prayers, and messages for you so that you too may be touched by the healing power of God. If you listen and participate with a full joyous heart, you too can experience profound healing and improvement of physical and emotional conditions through the Holy Spirit. To purchase this CD, you can go to thehealingtrilogy.com. May God bless you. In today's three-dimensional world, it's easy to get physically and emotionally sick. Raising your consciousness is crucial to healing. Kimberly Meredith has channeled a healing meditation CD that helps you to heal by helping you to elevate your consciousness. People have been healed just by listening to this CD, which lifts you away from third dimensional pain, worry, and fear, and into the fifth dimensional higher cosmic consciousness, where you can access healing for body and mind as you surrender to the higher self of love and light. For more information, please visit www.thehealingtrilogy.com and click on store. That's www.thehealingtrilogy.com or just Google the Healing Trilogy Meditation Healing CD, and Google will connect you. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. As a spiritual healer, I'm often asked, Kimberly, can I be healed? The answer is, with God, anything is possible. And yes, you can be healed through the power of God. Your friends and family can be healed. Even animals can be healed. Please visit thehealingtrilogy.com to learn more about my process and my services. My office is located in Sherman Oaks. I offer intuitive medical scans and psychic surgery for you and your loved ones. At The Healing Trilogy, we treat adults, children, and animals. We offer medical scans, mediumship counseling, cold laser acupuncture, cold laser therapy, holistic health, nutritional plans, and many other services. We also have meditation CDs, and I Skype around the world on Fridays. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive a free CD. You'll also be informed about my upcoming healing events. Log on to thehealingtrilogy.com. Bless you. Hi, welcome back to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. You're in the fifth dimension. Hi, can I take your call, please? Yes, hello, Kimberly, can you hear me? Yes. Who is this? Yes. Uh, my name is Diego, and um, I was just calling. Uh, well, first, it's an honor and a blessing to be able to speak to you. Thank you so much for taking my phone call. Thank you. Um, it's, um, I, I just came out of a, uh, I have a digestive uh, problem, and um, it, I, it's also related to acid reflux. And the last two, three weeks, it was really, really bad. And I was just wondering if there's anything that you might be able to, um, that you may be able to help me um, point to what I should be doing or eating or anything I should be doing differently to help my digestive system. Um, yes, um, they keep linking over and over again that um, they want you to move into the fourth. They keep linking number four. So I'm not quite sure what kind of foods you are eating, but they keep saying that you need to be more in a fourth dimensional frequency. So, okay. Um, mm-hmm. Are you, are you practicing a spiritual practice right now? Yeah. I'm uh, meditating twice a day. Okay. That's great. And, um, and I, um, I try to put myself in a, uh, in a positive state, um, throughout the day. Obviously I, it, um, I do, you know, through, um, uh, throughout the day through work, I might encounter something stressful or difficult, but I'm, I'm becoming more conscious of trying to 
remain in a positive um, state, uh, state of mind. Yeah, they're giving me that you're definitely um, an ang- in, in the angel, angelic realm. Per- you're a person of the angelic realm. Um, I'm just getting a read mm-hmm. on you altogether. You're a very sweet human being. Um, I feel like you do good things for people. Um, I think that you take mm-hmm. on people's energies too much. I feel like me, you might be a bit of an yeah. empath. And I think some of yeah. the situation that's happening might not be from food alone. It might be that you're just overly sen- sensitive because you take on energies. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I do. Yeah, I'm very, yeah kind of sensitive. Yeah. I do believe I am an empath. <laughs> yeah, because I keep saying number four, number four, number four. Um, I mean, you might be, I don't know if you do like uh, herbs or you might be doing some things also that's encountering issues with your intestinal tract too. But I do believe that mm-hmm. there are some things that you could learn so you don't get attacked by other people's energies coming at you. Okay. Okay. And then they're blinking the energy of God now. Like maybe learning some tools to help protect you from uh, energies coming at you. Mm. How, how could I protect myself? From my energy in that sense. <laughs> you need to join our. Dark. You need to join our angel club this Saturday, because <laughs> okay. that, that's that's what we're doing. The whole the whole the whole course on is experiencing yourself in the highest possible um, frequency and learning how to be the 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 higher power that you are the empath that you are and not having people's energy get into your energy sometimes you know like how that that happens to you oh my gosh that is great is that um is it an online class or is it in person it's the healing trilogy.com uh forward slash events Mm -hmm. and i have uh, the angel club it shows all the different ones that i have all the way up into next year and it's um, a club that I've created so I can do teachings online. So people can, where do you live? Do you live? Do you, I live in uh, New Fresno, California. Yeah. So you could do it online. It's an online class. You just have to okay. be able to have a, a, a Zoom or, or Skype. We're on Zoom room. It's like a webinar. Oh, perfect. I'll look that, I'll look that up right now. Great. Yeah, I'd love to have you invited to come on. Thank you so much, Kimberly. I appreciate taking my phone call. Have a great night. Yes, God bless you. I'm sending you energy right yep. now to your intestinal tract and your body and your mind and spirit. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank yep. you. Bye-bye. Bye. So he asked a lot of really great questions, and the guides came in and were blinking over and over again that he was having a frequency come at him. Um, and also that can disrupt your, your physical is related to your emotional. Okay, so bringing your future into a more positive way. That's what we're going to do. Okay, moving forward. How to empower ourselves into the highest, most possible timeline. That's what we're going to do. And that the Angel Club... That's what we do on the Angel Club, developing strategies to make these changes permanent, learning how to have a quantum conversation with your spirit guides in the angelic realm. So if you want to call in right now and ask a beautiful question to me, I'm more than happy to take that. Okay. At 818-850-7784. We are more than happy to talk to you about anything that's positive. Hi, can I help you? Hello? Yes. Yes, hi. Can I help you? This is Eric from North Carolina. Hi, How are Eric. you doing today? Good. How can I help you, Eric? Um, um, April of 2002, a person fell off of a roof and landed on my neck, and my neck was broken, and I was complete quadriplegic. And doctors told me I would never walk again. Um, I yes. didn't for about a year and a half, but I've got to the point to where I, I can walk a little bit now, but the left side of my body is still paralyzed, my left hand and my left foot. Yes. And uh, I've recently, last week, last week received some uh, a stem cell treatment. I'd just like to ask for uh, prayers because I'm a miracle. 
from you are a miracle. Many different ways. Yeah. yeah. Both my eyes are blinking, God, 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 and I'm feeling the Holy Spirit come through me. And if you hadn't even told me what happened, they would tell me that you had a near death experience and that God, mm. the Christ, came through you and saved you. I'm really happy that you called in right now and everybody that listening that knows that near-death experiences happen like me and that people are invoked with gifts. And I don't know if you are practicing anything right now um, in your daily life besides... Yes. Oh, yeah. What do you do? Can I ask? Um, really, uh, I can't be around a lot of people type thing. I don't know what it what the technical word for it is. Uh, I pick up on people's emotions a lot more. Right. Uh, I would like to know how to not <laughs> do this yeah. or how to be able to control But are you things. in, what I'm asking is, are you in service right now helping other people at all? Are you out yes, there? Yes, That's what I was trying to say. Yes, I'm, I, I'm doing the, uh, they're doing a documentary on me for other spinal cord injuries and I also counsel mm -hmm. with them and just countless people come to me for medical advice because I'm very versed in the supplements and diet and nutrition. That's great. So, yes. So, Yes, yeah, I am. that's great. So I was getting a lot of just enormous amount of goblings around you. So you're asking for a prayer right now, in in what staying staying in, immersed in the in the glory of the energy of God. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, that and for the uh, continuation and complete healing of my spinal cord. Okay, okay, great. So I'm going to say to dear Father God, um, Holy Spirit. Thank you for having this man call in right now and have me here also able to pray for you and the gentle spirit and the need of the Holy One that fills your body with the glory of the Father and the Mother Mary and all the saints and angels that love you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, holy Mother Mary of God, pray for you now and forever. Amen. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. We'll be right back. You're listening to Kimberly on KCAA Radio. This is Kimberly Meredith. As a spiritual healer, I'm often asked, Kimberly, can I be healed? The answer is, with God, anything is possible. And yes, you can be healed through the power of God. Your friends and family can be healed. Even animals can be healed. Please visit thehealingtrilogy.com to learn more about my process and my services. My office is located in Sherman Oaks. I offer intuitive medical scans and psychic surgery for you and your loved ones. At the Healing Trilogy, we treat adults, children, and animals. We offer medical scans, mediumship counseling, cold laser acupuncture, cold laser therapy, holistic health, nutritional plans, and many other services. We also have meditation CDs, and I Skype around the world on Fridays. Sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive a free CD. You'll also be informed about my upcoming healing events. Log on to TheHealingTrilogy.com. Bless you. In today's three-dimensional world, it's easy to get physically and emotionally sick. Raising your consciousness is crucial to healing. Kimberly Meredith has channeled a healing meditation CD that helps you to heal by helping you to elevate your consciousness. People have been healed just by listening to this CD, which lifts you away from third-dimensional pain, worry, and fear and into the fifth dimensional higher cosmic consciousness where you can access healing for body and mind as you surrender to the higher self of love and light. For more information, please visit www.thehealingtrilogy.com and click on store. That's www.thehealingtrilogy.com or just Google the Healing Trilogy Meditation Healing CD and Google will connect you. I am born a star seed, born in a third dimensional body. I am a star seed, 
an angelic light being. I am here on this earth plane. I was sent here to complete a mission. My purpose is to help humanity in some way. I am a star seed to assist the earth and humanity with the ascension process. Hi, this is Kimberly Meredith. Welcome to the Angel Awakening CD. I have channeled this album as a gift to you from the angels to help you connect to your gifts and to awaken you to the frequency of the highest dimensions of the Holy Spirit. I have channeled these sacred healings, chants, mantras, meditations, prayers, and messages for you so that you too may be touched by the healing power of God. If you listen and participate with a full joyous heart, you too can experience profound healing and improvement of physical and emotional conditions through the Holy Spirit. To purchase this CD, you can go to thehealingtrilogy.com. May God bless you. Hi, I'm Kimberly Meredith and back on the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. And this is... John Hinkle. John Hinkle. And he's from San Francisco and he came for his scan and healing today. Thank you. And how did you find out about the show? It was um, when we went to this um, healing space. You were doing that at the, at the bottom of um uh the bottom of uh, where did you see me <laughs> i saw you um when i was sitting watching you doing this healing code with with a bunch of people where was it at that was in um In it was in um, I'm not sure where, but it was down south. Okay. You you were it was it was in you were in um, this space that basically was a healing experience. Okay. Was it an expo? It was an expo, yeah. Okay. All right. And it made you want to see the radio show? Yeah, I did. I did want to see the radio show. That was good. And... Um, we actually listen to it. Okay. All right. And what's going on with you? Have you had it for a while? It's been two years. Two years. Okay. Two years. Two years yeah. you've had this situation. Yeah, because I wasn't able to... Don't uh, tell us what you have. Okay. I just want to know how long you've had it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Two let me, I'm going to scan you now. So, um, you ready? And you can, I'm going to scan you. Um, here I go. I'm going to start scanning you. And you're going to tell me um, what is good and what is not good. If, if I come up with the right things and I don't come up with the right things. But so your life was perfectly normal up until two years ago. Yeah. Yes, you're saying. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Oh, what's happened to you was kind of crazy. Well, Alma was the one who hugged uh, 32 million people. Alma, the hugging saint. Yeah. She um, 
she was from India. Right, I know who Amma is. And uh, and um, she was very Sophiaic, while um, Nozomi and I were very Michaelic. We're very aggressive. You and, know Amma? And Amma, uh, she hugged me six times. Does that have something to do with why you're not well? Well, the thing is, the level of balance is really, um, really important. And I have... Um, well, don't tell me what you have right now. I haven't scanned you yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you going to tell me what you had? Well, there was this um, quote in my book that was called Mama Said. Are you an author? Yeah, I was an author. And the only way I could have been an author is because I um, edited 120 articles from Nozomi Hayase. Oh, beautiful. That's wonderful. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. That's nice. All right. Well, let me let me do what I do, which is get they're they're communicating what I what I what I wanted Sounds good. to communicate. And then I like what you're telling me. I, I'm honored that you're here and you're letting yeah. me do some healing on you because yeah. it sounds like you have a lot of beautiful gifts, and it sounds like you've gone through something that's quite um, challenging. It is. Yeah. It's very challenging right now. And we go through some of these challenging situations. Okay, so here I go. Can I move your arm, your hand, yeah. or is it hurt? No, it's fine. Okay, here we go. It won't take me long. Can you uncross your legs? All right, thank you. Good, you're, you're breathing. You're breathing in and out, which is very helpful for me. Thank you. Good. Okay. Can you turn to your side now? Yeah. All right, great. <laughs> Good job. Can you? Yeah, I can help you. Yeah. I love helping people. So they're giving me some in information around your head. Uh, the guides mm -hmm. are blinking negative blinks about the back of your skull. The mm -hmm. back of your C2, C3. They're saying they don't like that. Your whole spinal cord, they're giving me negative links about your spinal cord. Got it. Your low back, really bad. Um, your tailbone, your sacrum area, negative links. Uh, pretty bad there. Um, so more aggressive sometimes in certain areas with my code links. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't, I know, it's just really, really hard blinks with the lower spine. Yeah, you got it. And then, so real aggressive there. And then, coming back up again, um, it gets a little lighter, and then it gets thicker again around the back of the neck, and then in the, in the throat, it gets thick again in the throat. Exactly. Yeah. And then it gets thick in the back of the skull. Ugh. Real thick uh, with my blinking. And then turn around again. It's like something happened to the throat over and over again, just yeah. blinking, nonstop. It's kind of crazy. You're going to tell me the whole story. Okay. The guides are coming up with the story themselves, and then you're going to tell me the story. And we want to hear the story. Yeah. They're also telling me there's some information to the story with your ear, back of the skull, um, lymph nodes a little bit. You're swollen. Um, I'm going to lightly, your hands don't have any flexion. Movement. Yeah. That's uh, it's sort true. of paralyzed something from the, the, the C2, C3. Yeah. T1 uh, sort of left you uh, the sort of paral paralyzed. 
and lower back paralyzation and the cord in the bottom. That's true. Yes. Also, I'm getting, you have some, inf some, some intestinal tract issue going on right. in the lower abdomen area. The guys are blinking. They don't like. And also, maybe some of the prostate is going on. What's happening in the prostate area with urinating um, or kidney? I uh, have to pee my every... Um, uh, like is that three, why you're crossing your legs? Do you have to pee right now? Three times a day. Oh. Three no. or... Um, Not enough. Three times a night. Oh, three times a night. Yeah. So is there something going on with your pink, uh, your thyroid or pancreas or are you diabetic or? Um, no, it's not diabetic. Um, Boy, is your PSA too high? I have, I have to uh, pee all the time because I drink a lot of water. I think it's more than that. Have you had the PSA checked? Well, it's fascinating because when I was a teacher, I was able to not pee Let's, until the, the until yeah. lunchtime. But not but not peeing that much at night is not okay. Let's let's start from the beginning of what's going on with your head and the spine and the lower spine and the throat and why they're blinking on those and then going into your intestine, your bladder, to prostate. So yeah. why don't we, we find that? Because I want to make sure we have enough time to do your healing. Yeah. So tell us the story. What happened? Well, what's fascinating is did you have a car accident? Did you what what happened to John Hinkle? I uh, got exposed Toxins. to all kinds of chemicals. Okay. okay. When I was shearing Christmas trees. Okay. I sheared over a million Christmas trees. Okay. And uh, and uh, I was doing two-handed shearing. So you had your arms and you were Sharing. Sharing both hands. So let me see your arms. You can hardly lift them up. You have no right. strength in your arms. Exactly. So did you have, you were shearing, and then did you have chiropractic adjustments? What happened? What, what would happen well, to the back of your neck? Well, it was fascinating. Fascinating is that because I was totally dependent on my arms. Right. Not only with shearing trees. Right. But also with urethi. I had to uh, lift my arms up. And um, in the end, I did this healing code with, uh, with the whole school. I don't know what that means, healing code. Uh, what, it, what it was is... Um, our lives are not our own. From moon. I want to go tree. back more medical right now for a second, though. Yeah. Have you had a CAT scan or an MRI or anything like that of your brain? I uh, I did have a CAT scan. Have you had a stroke? There was a problem. Because they're telling me the back of your head a lot of blinking on the back of the the front the front lobal area. Right. In the back area it's here. It's true because my frontal lobe has grunged up. It's when you, right, and not to cut you off, when you put your arms out, do you have any strength to lift them up at all? No, I can't. You have no movement of your arms whatsoever. My arms are dead. They're dead. And what about your legs? Can you show us your legs? Well, it's fascinating. Can you lift I was... Um, <laughs> I was able to walk yeah. for seven and a half miles in one day. Okay. But now, I can't. But you can walk around the building. I walk around the building. I do. Okay. And uh, what's fascinating is... 
Okay, I want to just ask you a few more questions. Yeah. When you lost the use of your arms, was it after you had a stroke? Did they, they find that out? Did you go to a hospital? Was it, yeah, I'm trying to put the piece together before I do a healing on you. I see. Um, my healing was uh, celery. No, uh, not celery. healing. I'm trying to find out when when you had... We can't. Your wife doesn't want to come in and talk, though, and be on camera. No. But, but what I'm trying to figure out is when you had... Because when you, when you turn to the side, I know exactly where it's at, where you got hurt in the back of the head. Yeah. And then here. I'm just trying to find out. You're saying it was your shearing, but I'm, I feel like you had a little bit of oxygen cut off to the brain. Exactly. And then this, the back of the neck and then yeah. the lower spine. But you said it was during when you were working with the trees. Did you pass out? Did you go to the hospital? I never passed out. Um, did you go to the hospital? I did go to the hospital when I get hit by a car. You did get hit by a car. Well, I did get hit That's by a I car. Thought. Yeah. And my um, my uh, leg got cracked. Okay. Okay. And what happened to your throat? They put. My throat, I have choking all the time. And what's that from? But she, I have to cream it up every, <laughs> I have to cream it up. Wow, this is just something. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm going to open up your form okay. and I'm going to see what you wrote down. Okay. Arms are dead. I have difficulty swallowing. Walking is a challenge. I'm diagnosed with. Okay. And front temporal lobe. I got that one. Yeah. Wow. That's We're pretty pretty good today here. It's fascinating. <laughs> All right. Not that we're happy you have that, yeah. but let's do some healing on you. We, we have some time here to do that. Here we go. Everyone's rooting for the healing going on. So let's okay. see what we're going to do here. So where the guys are going at pretty strong is around your throat. And I, I was hearing a little bit of your cough. Your... Right. <laughs> Wonderful. That's what we want to hear out there right now. Okay. We, we, yeah, me, brings me back to the nursing days when we used to stick the tube and lavage okay so I also feel you've got some lymph nodes but I also feel um, there's some stuff going down your lower belly yeah it's true what's happening there real quick um, I, uh, I I have to dump three times a day wonderful news okay no it's nothing wrong with that no and then I think we want to also do a healing on the back of your head. So I'm going to do around your throat, and then yeah. I'd like you to turn to the side and do some prayers on the back of your head. Sounds good. Should I do it now? No, I'll do some prayers first with you here. Okay. And then do you do any exercises for your arms for strength, um, or do they hurt? Um, I don't. I never have my arms hurt. And um, for some reason, um, but my arms do not work. Do you do any oxygen therapy for your brain? I have to walk. When I walk, I have to breathe deeply. Yeah, so you, for me, I would put you on some high probiotic oxygen, um, different things like that. Do you take anything like that? I never take anything like that. Yeah. So I would do that. I would put you on high oxygen, uh, ozone therapy, water. You could recover some of that brain tissue back. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. And get uh, your color better. You know? Right. Are you on vitamin D? 
I've never been drinking or eating vitamin P. There's some things you could be doing that could help you. Really? Oh, yes. Lots of good stuff. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Okay. So, do you like to pray to... Um, Every morning I do a uh, um, meditation um, and uh, I, every morning it's a half an hour. Nice. So yeah. you're very spiritual. Yeah. I, Beautiful. I, uh, um, it's fascinating because... Well, I'm excited to hear who you're you're going to pray to the omnipresent, our one God. Yeah. I want to hear what you're going to say. So here I go. Yeah. I'm going to put my hands. I'm activating them to the fifth Sounds dimension, good. light. Sounds and good. I'm going to take some energy off of your throat that's all trapped around you and strangling you. Yeah. Let's say, I accept the Holy Spirit. Through accepting the Holy Spirit, I am healed. And let's hear what you want to say out loud. Go ahead, you can pray too. Pray the song. Mama said she taught me well. Told me when I was young. <laughs> Son, your life's an open book. Don't close it for it's done. The brightest flame burns quickest, it's what I heard her say. Sons are told to mother. What song is that from? What song is that from? It's a, it's a Hetfield song. And he, his, his mama died Who when is he that? was 16. Who is that? Um, a, a singer from Metallica. That song. I thought it was Tom Petty for a minute. Yeah, and uh, I never had anybody on the table singing. Uh, <laughs> okay, so keep singing. It's working. Your your whole throat's becoming soft and silky. So yeah, yeah you. If that's what you want to, if you want to pray to a Metallica well, song, rock on. Okay, well, go well, ahead. Go on. And keep it was doing a it. Country western song. Okay, keep doing it. And Everyone out there, keep praying for John Hinkle. <laughs> there you go. Keep praying. Wow. Keep praying. No, it's working. It's becoming completely soft. Okay, keep praying. Okay, and now turn to the side. I want to pray in the back of your head. Good job. Keep calling in the Holy Spirit here. Doing great. Keep keep singing it. Mom said she told me. Good job. Told me when I was young. Son, your last and open book. Go close it for it's done. The brightest flame burns quickest. It's what I heard her say. Can't breathe. But I must find my way. Good, keep breathing. Okay, I am healed. Let my heart. Okay, keep breathing. Good job. Keep breathing. Okay, keep breathing. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put my hand on your back. Okay, keep breathing. Keep breathing. I am love and I am light and I am healed. Everyone can chant that. I am love, I am light, and I am healed. Sending prayers to John Hinkle yeah. tonight. Thank He's you. Sending beautiful prayers to you. I am love, and I am light, and I am healed. Good job. Turn back over. Uncross your legs. Good job. Keep breathing in the energy. Healing energy. 
Thank you, everybody watching and touching into this energy and feeling the energy going through his abdomen. I'm getting better blinks. The left eye is blinking. Both eyes are blinking. He is receiving the Holy Spirit going through his body right now. How are you feeling? Much better. Good. I feel so much better. I'm feeling it, too, as he's receiving it. I feel the chills going through my body rapidly. And his neck is like silk. He's all receiving it through his throat. And the back of his head is blinking. My eyes are blinking. I know when someone is receiving it. When they're not receiving it, I also know it. And I, I can feel it. And I know that it's not taking place. And he is receiving. So that is really the greatest news right now. So I'm really happy with that. <sighs> and if you're at home right now and you're not feeling well, just rub your hands together really hot like this. Call in the... Holy One, the One God, oh, and put it right on up. your body. What? Lift my arms up. Lift your arms up. Oh, I was telling everybody else to lift their <laughs> arms up. <laughs> if okay. you lift your arms up right now, you would probably be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, we can. We can still lift them up a little bit. Put them together on you. Like that. And breathe. Good. Clearing your throat a little bit because I cleared it a little bit there. And breathe in deep from your sacral chakra. Go. Ha. Good. You sound better. Blessed night and beautiful, beautiful healing. And we will be back next week on the Medical Intuitive Miracle Show. And witnessing more miracles. I'm always so happy when everybody joins us with these beautiful healings and scans and participates and prays with us and sends love. And we're going to keep praying for you um, in the days ahead, too, and sending you lots of love and blessings. Sounds great. Yeah, and we're going to give you some um, information about boosting your immune system, too. You want to say anything to anybody before we leave? Out there? I want to say that um, love is the most beautiful form of selfless devotion. For love is truly the light of heaven and the life of an earthly day. Beautiful. <laughs> All we need is love, and love is all we need. Yeah, exactly. God, love is the most beautiful form of self-esteem. Thought I'd go insane. I hold on to every word. At least the ones I think I heard. Yes, I hold on to every word. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.